back to a new video yesterday me and hayden were in colorado and probably same with tomorrow but today um we're in kansas we're gonna be doing some kansas herping um got in here late late last night uh just got a couple hours of sleep but we're gonna do a bunch of flipping this is our first time ever doing some kansas herping so we'll see how it goes all right guys first snake we have a plains black headed snake right here sat well for a couple in hand photos and um, it's a pretty large individual as well. Always the cool thing about them is their stomachs, that more salmon coloration. But I was actually pretty excited to see this guy. First one of the year. And the other Tantilla in Utah, the southwestern black-headed snakes, have evaded me all spring somehow. So it's good to finally see one of these guys. New species on the weekend. We're just going to let it go and see what else pops up. So for this whole video, I apologize for the wind, but we did just flip prairie ring neck right here now i've honestly hardly seen any of these guys before and i just think they're super cool snakes uh just that coloration on the stomach for the most part is so cool that red orange yellow depending on the, what region you're seeing them in but just uh beautiful little snakes this one's very small hopefully find some bigger ones later with some nice uh nice sleek gray on top so overall good looking snake but we're hoping it'll still warm up a little bit more here but we're just gonna let this guy go back underneath the rock i've been flipping a lot of money looking rocks and no snakes but we saw some weird bugs scorpion and a giant centipede skullpendra skullpendra heroes which has like orange head and legs with an all black body really big it was super cool um but we got another snore right here this one's bigger this one's been the warmest feeling snake so far so hopefully that'll uh continue for these rocks to warm up here but another uh brown and orange looking individual well i just showed you guys that one right there and then i put this one right here another looking this one has hardly any orange on it just straight brown it's pretty cool just to see uh the unique variations Alrighty, Hayden just flipped this Tantilla right here, third one of the day. We've been seeing quite a few Sonoras as well, but have been skipping over those. But we just got my uh, favorite two finds of the day so far. I just flipped two New Mexico thread snakes. And these are a lifer for me. Um, snake I haven't really got out to look for uh, much yet. But uh, they are in this area and I'm super, super stoked to see these guys. One day I'll get them in Colorado. Um, you can kind of see through their stomachs in some parts where you can see their meals, a couple of their organs. They're just really unique snakes. We released the tantilla under that rock and the thread snakes under that rock. And I put this big rock right here and we got our first night snake of the day. This one's the smallest of the three we've seen this weekend. Um, it definitely needs a shed as well, but cool to add another species to the day and my first night snake in Kansas. Another Sonora right here, probably the biggest one of the day. Underneath his rock. Night snake number two that Hayden just flipped. This one is bigger and better looking as well. Has shedded more recently for sure, but I'll probably see a couple more of these guys. We still got lots of hours to go. Let's see if I can get them back under this rock here. All right, guys, thread number three, just flipped underneath that rock right there. Um, but cool to see another one of these guys. Hopefully we'll see one that's a little bit bigger, but they definitely are snakes that uh, stay pretty small. We'll probably get some shots of this guy and let him go, but super stoked. All right, well, probably uh, 30 seconds after that thread, just flipped this ground snake right here. This one's uh, a little unique looking from the others. Has a lot of that brown and then Kind of some black stripes down the sides. The pattern kind of reminds me a little bit of a patch nose almost. But uh, cool to see some variation here as well. Took a quick uh, lunch slash snack break and we're back at it. Slightly different hillside. And got the fourth thread of the day right here. All right, guys, here's the centipede we were talking about earlier. Skull Pendril Heroes. I'm not putting my hand too close to it because you don't want to get bit by these guys but it's probably about six inches long just a huge centipede we also got fire ants everywhere so uh 
we might be trying to set this rock down pretty soon here i was getting ready to flip this rock right here and it's hard to see with the shadow you can see a little rattlesnake sitting on right there so i got a couple shots while it was sitting there there's some nice very small crotalus viridis this is the first uh rattlesnake at all that i've seen this year Still, maybe we can it might start to move here. Definitely a uh, six shelter in the bush. You can see it'll probably hide around right here. We don't want to bother it too much, so we'll uh, leave it alone now. But cool to see another species for the day. All right, so Hayden suggested we try a different area. We moved to a couple uh, mile or two away, and the first rock I flipped had this big ring neck underneath it. Definitely needs a shed, but still just. That beautiful uh, tangerine, I guess, color. Some red on the tail. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll pop up several more here in a second. Aiden just flipped this Great Plains rat snake right here. It's uh, about the same size as the other one, maybe a little bit bigger, but is not in shed at all. And has a stunning looking snake. That head looks really cool. The two uh, dots on the top there. Um, just some clean clean patterning but cool to have flipped three of these guys in the last two days um we'll take a couple pictures and then uh set it back under its rock got another ring neck right here this one's might be the biggest and has some really nice coloration on it as well all right guys so me and hayden uh decided to just try a new spot out while we're out here um, we haven't been here for too long. A lot of the rocks are tough to flip, but uh, it's a really cool looking area. Just some beautiful outdoor, uh, just some nice scenery. But we did get this uh, prayer ring neck right here. Pretty large one and very nice colors, but I'm gonna let Hayden get some shots right now. So I've had several of these guys escape from me earlier in the day, um, but just flipped a rock and was managed to grab this guy. They're always pretty quick and sometimes a little bit worried about their bites, but uh, got a nice great plain, great plain skink right here. Hold out of breath, but got some nice pink on the side there. Mm. Didn't mean to scare it. Hopefully it's not biting Hayden too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, got a nice Ooh. sunset. We're gonna see if we can uh, turn up a couple more snakes in the next 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know how many more snakes we're gonna see. So I'll probably, uh, Film all the last ones, even though I skipped over a lot of Sonora and the thread and maybe a couple of ring necks earlier, but another Sonora right here. We'll see what else we turn up. Another one. Alrighty guys, as you can see, sun has set, um, has been set for a little while. Been doing a little bit in the dark flipping, but we've been finishing hitting the spot here, me and Hayden. Some nice rocks, really unique habitat, just uh, several more Sonora and that's been it. Um, which has been the story of the day. Just a lot of fossorials with some other really good stuff. And we're walking back to the car. Legit right here, we got this last rock, which um, obviously we'll fix here in a second. There's no more rocks past that. Sorry for the huge lead up, but it deserves it. We just flipped this speckled king snake. Just sitting underneath the rock in a weird spot. I don't know how it, how it was even sitting there. This is what our target has been all day. We've been looking for one of them. And just this, just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. It does not get any better than this. But as you can see, just a stunning snake. It's probably, uh, the temperature is probably dropping into almost the 50s now. Yeah. Um, and holy moly, just underneath a big bulky white rock I don't know what else to say about it just we've been seeing a lot of snakes that are in shed today thankfully this guy is not and with it being cooler as well right now it should be sit for pictures which is just absolutely awesome but we honestly we're satisfied with everything that we've got to see today so far and now we see this and it it made the trip perfect an absolute buzzer beater we've been flipping for the last 10 and a half 11 hours and we just pulled out a speckled king snake. We're super stoked. We're going to get some great photos, hopefully, and uh, 
we'll eventually let this guy go, but just, just amazing.